Hey guys, what's up? This is Kyle here at um, American Boy Collects American Girl. We have got an unboxing for you today. It just came in the mail today, Monday, March 4th, 2024. Um, but I will just give you the heads up. This is not American Girl at all. I'm going to introduce you to something else that I've liked to collect throughout my life. Um, certain kinds of holiday decorations. So I'll show you that in a minute. However, I just uploaded a video today giving you my honest opinions on the Disney collab um, with American Girl. I did forget to mention one thing about Ariel that I did want to mention. I, I think I touched on it in passing, but I didn't specifically say why I liked it. But I really think the name mode was perfect for Ariel because one thing, I don't know if you noticed, well, let me show you the, the cover photo again. If you look at them, Nenea really does have bigger eye sockets than than the other characters um, in the line of face molds. And I think that was really a good choice for Ariel because one, you know, she was so full of wonder about the human world. And she was like, you know, just in awe of what all these different things were called, even in that song she sang, um, Part of Your World. Um, and trying to remember all the different names of things. And I just, I don't know, I just feel like having the bigger eyes gave her more of a sense of wonder and excitement. And I don't know, so I just really feel like Nenea was a perfect mold. I know some people didn't like it, but um, yeah, so that was my last thought. I just wanted to throw out there that I forgot to mention in the other video. So that was my little thing to throw a little bit of American Girl into this video. But let us get on to this unboxing. Um, so yeah, um... I guess I forgot to bring in. Anyway, we'll show you what's, what's in here and then you'll understand what I'm collecting. But one thing I've really liked, um, there's certain things I've collected over the years, and one of them is holiday decorations. There's two types of decorations that I really, really love. Um, one of them is the wall cutouts, and the other is the honeycomb tissue paper, like centerpieces or hanging decorations. And this, and just so you know, this is definitely an unboxing because I have never opened this before, so... It's all been wrapped in paper. Right, I'll just take this small bit of paper out. Ah! Let me get rid of the box. This is not work. Let's see if I can move this camera back a touch. There we go. Let me set a little more space. Yeah. Not sure why. There's a dead leaf in here. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you get things off of eBay and it's like, um, yeah, I'm not sure why that was with that. Okay. And there was a dead leaf in there. Right? So they have the tissue paper. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know. Yeah, I forgot. There's another kind I like also. That's the jointed ones. Um, so yeah, let's just, oh, this one got a little messed up, but, um, they did say they had some issues. So let's get rid of all this paper and we'll go into it. Um, this really wasn't, I really wasn't planning on getting these, but there was this one cut cutout that I remember. And the crazy thing is, I don't know why this suddenly came to my mind this year, because I hadn't thought about this since I was a kid. But there was one cutout for Valentine's Day that I really had wanted when I was a child. And for whatever reason, mom told me, no, I cannot get it. I don't know why. I even reminded her that when I showed her the lot that I found on eBay. And she, for the life of her, couldn't remember why she wouldn't let me have it either. Um, I don't know. It was So basically, it was a medieval boy and girl. But they're, like, dressed for Valentine's Day, like, in a medieval outfit. But it's all pinks and reds and stuff. So it's sort of, like, almost like Mardi Gras and Valentine's Day collided or something. I don't know. But then there was some really cool extras in here that... Um, and two of them were ones that I was wanting to replace for some reason, there was one area in our dining room that I cannot decorate anymore with cutouts because the cats will rip them off the wall. I don't know why. I don't know how to get them to stop doing that. So I didn't want to ruin decorations. Thankfully, the ones they ruined were ones that were kind of faded out that I got at a garage sale anyway. But I've been trying to find replacements. I thought I had gotten replacements for so there were three different ones. There was a Valentine of a boy on a rocket ship with his dog. There was a Cupid and then there was a dragon. Um... I thought I had found the replacement for the Keeper and the Dragon, but then I come to find out they were larger versions of the cutout, not the same size. So I think from what I'm looking at right now, these are the same size, but there was an added bonus. So this was kind of funny, but 
Um, so this year, so it's like this kind of cutouts is what I'm talking about. The paper or harder cardboard ones. Um, my post, one of my post offices near me had ones exactly identical to this. And I had never seen where they had done like a lighter red on the heart. So you could actually see the hand of Cupid holding it and then white for the wings. I might have seen maybe the white for the wings, but I've never seen like this detail about being more printed. Because usually a lot of the ones I've seen, I think are from Bystel that are solid red foil, like the hearts. So that was kind of fun. So yeah, so like um, some of the decorations that we have from my past, my mom has a ton of old ones. We have so many and I've bought other ones off eBay to add into the collection. There's like from, um, you know, two of the biggest ones were Bystel and Eureka, and Eureka is not spelled the same as the vacuum cleaner, so I don't know if it's actually pronounced different or not, but I've always pronounced it Eureka. <laughs> anyway, at least that's what it looks like. Um, there's been Paper Magic Group. There's, um, I know Hallmark has some they used to do. I don't think they do them anymore. Um, what was some of the other ones? There was Peck. I think there was one that was called Arlington or something. Not like the cemetery, but I, I mean, it's like the cemetery, but I don't think maybe that wasn't the right pronunciation. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there's been just so different ones. Like I think Eureka and Beist were my top favorites. And I think Beist is honestly the only one that's still in business. But there is also Amscan. And Amscan, um, I think probably more people would know them by their store chain, which is Party City. But Amscan is their, what they do for their, like their decorations. Um, but yeah, so this was an ad most. This was not why I bought the thing. <laughs> the cupids were not why I bought them. But this is so they had like a bunch of these. So there was like, uh, I think they're different sizes too. So or maybe these two are the yeah, these two are the same size. So this one got a little curled up in the packaging. Then there was this one. Let me see if I can get it out for. There we go. There's that one. Um, I think there. Oh, okay. There's some larger ones. Okay, so there was two. Yeah, it looks like okay. There's two of this size. So there's two of this size. Then. Now oh, we got actually three sizes. So there's actually, we got, so this is, a, so we have two smalls, a medium, and a large. But they all got like the, um, what do you want to say, the white wing and the lighter red for the heart. Oh, this one I really, like this one you can really see the difference in the heart and the hand. Really cool. Um, there is like some like tape residue that took the, pa the color off. It looks like this, the head was cut too because there's like a very, very thin, Hardly any space, whereas this one has way more space for the pinhole. Uh, and then down here, you can see there's some tape left behind. But yeah, so that was kind of cool. And then I just noticed that I didn't know this was one of them. I forgot, besides the, the um, honeycomb decorations and the cutouts, I also like jointed ones. Those were kind of fun, too, because they have some really big ones. And this is, oh, this one actually, I think this might be a Bysta one, because this one actually is um, solid red. There's no variation in the color. It's kind of cool to even come up with a string to hang it. So that's kind of cool. And the joint, you can put it in like different positions for like, maybe she's running or, or she's keeping a boy. I think it's going to keep it a boy. I don't remember. Anyway, but yeah, you can have different, you know, or maybe it look, make it look like he's flying, I guess. Or yeah. So that's kind of cool. And then it just folds up. Oops. Oh, it's on one side and one side of the other. Okay. I didn't realize that. Okay. Let's see. Don't have them together. All right. And then you can, to, for easier storage, you can just fold them up so they're not going to get damaged. So that's kind of cool. So I didn't realize one of them was jointed. But it was just so funny that the ones with the printed, that you could actually see variations in the color and the white. I just saw that one at my post office and like I never had seen that before. So it was kind of interesting to find in a lot with them in it. All right, I'm going to flip these over this way so you don't see the top one. So, all right. All right, so we're gonna jump in. Okay, so this one, okay, this side isn't too bad. Okay, there is some damage. So this is the dragon that I was gonna replace. And as you can see, there's a white mark where the paper has been ripped and some down here too. But this side is actually, this side is actually really, really good. There is some tape up here on his snout. But basically it's a red dragon. He's got a t-shirt on with a heart and, it's, and his smoke is coming out. And in the smoke, it says happy Valentine's day. So, but this one is actually better than the other one because the other one was really faded out. Um, this one is, I think, maybe a little faded out on this side because it's not as bright. But I've also noticed like one side seems on some of some of these, one side seems to be more, a little bit more glossy, whereas the other side seems to be a little bit more matte. But this one does look faded on the side that's messed up. So I guess I'm not too upset. So probably what they had done was they probably put like tape rings here and here in those four spots, and then they stuck it to the window. And then when they took the tape off, and that's why this side's faded. 
But anyway, so at least I do have one version. And some of these said that some of these were fl like flocked, but this is not flocked. So this is actually the cutout that the cat's dam well kind of damaged. I still have used it like in my bedroom, not out where everyone can see it. Well, it's also kind of faded. Um, so yeah, so I still have to find the boy on the rocket ship to replace that one. But oh, and I didn't notice this, but look at his sneakers. He has the little um little heart on his sneakers, and he's holding a couple hearts in his hands. And just really, really cool. I just thought this was, I thought this was kind of cool. And especially the boy with the rocket ship also, because I, I didn't realize they had done cutouts that were boy oriented also. So it wasn't just, you know, all the more feminine with the cupids and the hearts and everything else. I thought it was kind of cool. They did some boy ones. So that was that one. Um, let me see if I can fish out the cupid first. We'll do her first. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately she's got the the same thing going on with on the one side and she's not flocked either so that one side has the um flock or the tape removed there's a little bit on her foot on this side but this one does look a lot better i guess i should have done it taller for these so you could see it closer up more so yeah but that's if you know what, i'll do this way and i'll just pan up <laughs> that way you can see it a little better um so the four printed ones not the cupids are from eureka See if it says it on here. You don't see it. Oh yeah, it does. I don't know if you, I don't know if it's gonna make it out, but right there it says Eureka. Um, I think it's a little darker, a little easier to see because it was on the shoe. I don't know if you can make that out. It says Eureka USA, and it's spelled E U R E K A. So again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, so it was, so these were the two that I had. And these are way brighter, definitely way brighter. So I have the small ones now and I have the large ones. <laughs> and then the ones that really fade out. Again, let me just give you a pan up so you can see more of the um, dragon at a closer vantage point. I actually do like doing it the other way around so it's tall so you can see everything. I know most people don't do it that way. And like doing the outfits, I guess are all right doing it this way. But certain things just seem to be, needs to be the tall format. Okay, then there was two. So I got the two that, so first I got the cupids that I hadn't planned on. I don't think I had a jointed one. I'm pretty positive the, the jointed one's from Bystel. I'm not sure what brand the other ones are. And I don't think it said anything on these. So yeah, I don't know what these ones are from. But I just thought that was kind of a cool bonus that I wasn't planning on getting those. Um, but I got those. And then the Cupid and the Dragon they had also, which were ones I was trying to replace. And they had a couple additional ones that um, I wasn't on my radar to get, but they were part of the lot. And, and one of them was this Valentine Goose. So yeah, you can definitely see on this side, it's definitely got some missing color from where the tape ripped it. But if I flip it over, and it's fun, these are all double-sided too. So you have um, a good side and a bad side. And this one you can sort of, I don't know if you can kind of make it out, that this has a little bit more brightness to it, where this one is a little duller. So yeah, the, the shinier side has a little bit more brightness to the color, whereas the flatter, or the matte side has more, it's not as bright. But yeah, this was one that I didn't even know, I'm not sure if I knew this one existed or not. I might have had it confused with a Christmas, because I feel like there's a Christmas goose cut out too, but I'm not sure. I would have, the only complaint I'll have on this one is I think the, the little shawl the goose has around her head should have been a little bit different color or had some kind of an outline so you could see it against the heart backdrop. But it's really cool. So she's walking in the grass and she's got this giant heart behind her. And she's carrying this basket with some hearts and a bow and a gift. So it's kind of cool. I guess it's supposed to represent a female goose because she's got the little shawl around her head which I don't think a guy would be wearing. It's not like the kind a guy would have. But yeah, so there's the close-up. You can see that. Let me see if I can find on here. Oh, yep, right in the grass. Maybe that one, you, um, maybe one of these you can actually see where it says Eureka. And I don't think the Bystel one, I don't think the foil ones from Bystel ever said their name on it. I don't remember. I haven't done these in a while. Yeah, I don't think the the foil ones don't usually ever have the name on it. The the regular printed ones like these other cutouts I'm showing you would have had it. 
And sometimes they didn't have it because I've, I've looked at some of ours. And I'm like, I can't find a name of any company that because, you know, it would be kind of nice. Like some of these have gotten faded over years. Some of them have gotten a little bit damaged over years. It would be nice to like maybe sometimes replace some of the worst ones. <laughs> um, but then I can't find it. So, yeah, then this one was a little bit different one. So I'm not really sure if these are supposed to represent Cupid or Angels because they have halos. So, yeah, <laughs> so that's a different one. That I never I had never actually seen this one before. Um, but I don't know if they're supposed to represent angels or Cupid because I don't think Cupid ever had a halo over his head. Um, and these are definitely, oh, like one's a boy and one's a girl. Okay. Yeah. Cause you got the one girl has the hair bow tie or the bow in the hair and she's holding the flower and he's holding the heart. Um, yeah, this side has the, um, the tape rips, but then this side, this one is pretty good. There's a little bit there. And something like this one, I could actually, if I had a red marker, I could kind of fill it in with some red and you wouldn't really notice it on the front. But yeah, this is the only, this is the only negative about getting these used is that sometimes you can't get them in perfect condition, but I still love them. And I, I mean, like, you know, hanging on a wall or something from a distance and I may, like, if you can fill that in with red, you wouldn't even know it was missing some of the color, but yeah, this one's kind of really cool. So this one I can actually do better on this angle, but I never got, I never seen this one before. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, I mean, sometimes you find ones you never seen before. Again, I don't know if you can even make out the label on there, but um, I'm going to try anyway. All right. So finally, let's see. I'm going to take a look at this one off camera real quick. Ooh, this is fun. The one that I wanted, actually, I'm not seeing any like residue where the tape ripped like the, the, um, the paper off. Oh my god, that is insane. Okay, so that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to show you this one. All right, so oh wait, there is. All right, I take it back. There is a little bit on the girls here on the back, but it's on the the side that's not as sh not as bright. So I definitely wouldn't have been using that side anyway. Um, but basically, all right. So this is the cutout that I had always wanted as a child. And again, mom, for life or her, she doesn't know why. She said I couldn't have this. I don't know if it had something to do with the outfits. I don't know. Um, but like I really um yeah, I don't know why. She and she couldn't and she couldn't remember either. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I can't remember. I think I said this at the beginning. I don't remember now. Um, I'm just gonna say it again, even if I did it. Sorry. Um sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I honestly had never thought about this cutout until this year. So like this was literally when I was a kid. Okay, I don't even I don't even think I was a teenager at this point. I'm not sure. Either child or teenager. And I had wanted to buy this one. I saw that because they used to have the cutouts that used to come like they would have like um, this sort of shipper kind of thing where it have these like slots or they'd have like different levels of them all just like a whole bunch of different ones. And you could like look through them and see which one you wanted to get. And I remember picking this one out and I think it was actually the last one too. I think it was even at Kenny's Drugs, I want to say, that I had seen this at. Um, it's a local drugstore to this area in New York. I don't know what other states that are they are in. Um, um, but yeah, I'm just like, oh, and I'll just show you the back. I didn't show you the back side. So yeah, there is some tape uh, print missing there in her hair. But that's actually very subtle. I think from like a distance, unless the light cut just right, you really wouldn't see it. But yeah, so that's the back side. And again, um, right on his shoe... Well, maybe that one comes in. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry again. I do not know how to focus. But yeah, so here they're in this like, um, I don't know what this is supposed to be behind her. Oh, is it supposed to be like there's a giant box or something behind him? Or a heart? I don't know. Or a diamond. No, it looks, oh, it's a diamond. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, this main this main shape that you see pink behind him is a diamond. See, I don't know what, what it's supposed to represent. I really don't know, like some medieval. But like another thing, and I'm gonna point this out in a minute, but here, let me just give a close up and I'll just do the slide up real quick so you can see the whole thing. Like one thing I love about the older decorations um, is how you can see brush strokes and uh, from the paintbrush and you can see some of the detail with like colored pencil or um, just the attention to detail, because like like we have a cornucopia that has the grapes, and then also some of the Christmas ones with the holly berries. 
the, the detail and the brightness and like how they get the shine on it is just so amazing incredible and like this one like we have a couple a pilgrim boy and girl and we have um uh, some angels but like, like this one look at the eyes look at the detail in the eyes on the faces of the boy and girl i mean look at the tension to detail and this is like back in the era before computer generated stuff so this is a has to have been all you know hand drawn and hand like and, and for these eyes even remind me of like rainbow bright dolls <laughs> um from the 1980s i'm just like just i'm just so amazed at like the detail that they have in this and just all the colors and like I look at the dress and you're like, oh my word. I mean, <laughs> if American Girl ever sees this, you know, this would be kind of a cool outfit for the dolls, actually. <laughs> a different kind of Valentine's Day outfit. Like, he's sort of like a jester clown kind of outfit. And then she's supposed to be like a maiden or a princess or something, I think. I'm not sure what. But, I mean, just look at the attention to details. And I've had this, and I have them also, like, I have Irish Boy and Girl, too. And just, this is, I just love these decorations. You can see, like, how... Let's see how thin it is. Like, this is a thicker... I think the... the Well, the cupids weren't too thin either. But, I mean, some of them are thicker. Like, this one feels a little bit thicker. And then there's some that are, like, actually, like... Like, some of the older... I think mostly it was Halloween they did it with. But they were, like, a heavier cardboard. And they were, like, single-sided. And they were, like, embossed. So, it was, like... Like, some of the older ones, they were only single-sided. So, at some point in the 90s, they started doing them double. I don't know if it was in the 80s, too. Maybe. Because we do have, yeah, I think we have older ones that would have been when I was a kid, not my teen, not teenager. But yeah, so yeah, these are my Valentine's Day cutouts. Um, so yeah, that's another thing I love to collect is this. Um, and it's really cool also, if you didn't notice, that they didn't even punch out the pinhole that's like right below my finger on that white spot. And I was just like, that's kind of crazy. And it wasn't punched out in this one either. Actually, I don't think, was it in any of them? Huh. They didn't even punch out the pinhole, which sometimes, like, like if you saw the cupids, like, but these were definitely punched out because you can see my fingers through and my face through that. But yeah, okay, that's crazy. So the, the printed ones were not even punched out. But yeah, so that's the one I always wanted from my childhood. I don't know why. Again, we don't know why mom said I can have it. But... <laughs> My 41st, well, it's after Valentine's Day, but my 41st Valentine's Day, I finally got that cut out. And, and again, I, it was crazy. Like, I had never thought about that till I was 41 in 2024. And that was back when I was a kid. So, like, 30 years ago, practically. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know why this decoration came to my mind. And I went looking for it. And I, and it was only, I could only find it in one lot. So, it was, like, kind of crazy. It's a hard thing about trying to find the cutouts for Valentine's Day. Because you also get the actual cutouts. Like, uh, well, they call them cutouts or die cuts. Um, of actual valentines valentines that you could give to people like the little you know like the ones you can get in the boxes today um so that, so it's harder to find these because you end up getting a ton load of those things coming up too but yeah so that's um that's one of my other collections are there other things you collect besides american girl dolls let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought of these decorations um yeah so i'm excited to get the dragon and the cupid in better condition still not perfect again but at least I got one side that kind of works. And then the goose and the and the little angels are kind of fun. And then finding those cupids, one of them jointed even. So, yeah. Um, and usually the joined ones aren't foil. Like, I have a joint snowman still hanging up on the wall that I got to take down. Um, he's from Vice, so he's really fun. You know, I just... There's just so many different cutouts. So maybe sometime if I finally get all my cutouts back organized again for the different holidays, maybe I'll do a video where I just showcase each of the ones we have for each holiday. Or maybe, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, this is going a little longer than I meant to. And I don't want it to take up a lot more time. So I am going to sign off right now. And so let me know again in the comments um, what you thought of these. Um, I do have another thing coming tomorrow. I was hoping to do these all in one. But I guess it's a good thing I didn't do them all in one because this is already 24 almost 25 minutes so <laughs> definitely want to finish this off quick but yeah i got something coming tomorrow i think it's coming tomorrow um it's not american girl but it is for american girl so yeah hopefully that'll come and i can get that videotaped and uploaded so you can see what that is um and i also got a christmas village piece coming but that isn't shipped yet so um i guess these are going to be all separate videos so again you know about liking and subscribing um and again thank you for supporting the channel 
welcome if this i'm doing this at the end i know this is bread uh but welcome this is first time seeing this video or my channel and welcome back if you're returning um but yeah you guys have a great day and i will see you next time with another video have a great night